Guys, built competition cars. So now we're gonna come back to you and go over, go over the uh, engine bay, interior, and trunk of this 1979 Ford Thunderbird with 4,500 original miles on it. This one has a 351 V8 factory air. Extremely <coughs> clean. And what I like about this car is how nice and how original it is. Um, on our engine bays, we will just clean and detail. We only refinish things that have lost its original luster. So we barely touched anything on this engine bay. Everything you see has mostly been just cleaned up. And I want you to look around here, Christian, kind of get close if you can see the spark plug wire, the dates. Look at that, 19, right here, 1979. So these are either the original wires and the car runs great. Uh, someone's gonna say, I'm sure someone says, oh, it's got the original wires, it needs to be tuned up. It does not need to be tuned up. So either those wires are still excellent or some, sometimes you can, I have found new old stock uh, wires before for these cars. So either way, it's got the correct wires. The hood mat is in really good shape compared to how some of them are. And everything is clean and pristine. There's no oil, there's no grease, there's no grime. Just what you'd expect a 4,000 mile car to look like. Valve cover gaskets have not been repainted. They retain their original luster. Uh, just just an incredible, incredible find. And, you know, a lot of times these cars, I've had some four and 5,000 mile cars that were pretty rough, not because of driving, but just the way they were stored. So the original owner really stored this car properly. So there wasn't really much that we had to do other than just put my final touches and do the paint correction. So there's the, there's the engine bay. Now coming around to the interior, equally as stunning. I mean, look at this interior, it's just freaking brand new. The air is ice cold, AM FM, stereo with eight track, the only thing that's aftermarket, oh, hang on, look at the wheel. Normally these wheels will get faded or chipped on the edge. I've seen some 12,000, 15,000 mile cars with a little bit of fading, but look how perfect the pristine that steering wheel is. That speaks to the originality, the floor mats, the carpets, the seats, the headliner. The only thing that, uh, that is aftermarket in this car, which I think is really cool. I'll tell you in a second, go ahead and film the back seats. We'll get to the back one off. We'll, we'll go in here. Film under here. Look at the car. The original carpets are very clean. They're not dry or faded. They look great. Fronts and are just as clean as the back. So, getting to what's aftermarket, if you want to call it that, is the very period correct. The real. There's a little bit of compound dust out here. The realistic stereo speakers in the back. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I used to absolutely love going to Radio Shack back in the day and looking through stereos, their speakers, their equalizers. So this is the only thing that I see that's been added. So I don't know maybe if the car may have not come with speakers or maybe that was a dealer installed. I have no idea, but that looks like I'm sure that Thunderbirds didn't come with the realistic speakers that was added by somebody. Original spare, perfect, never been on the ground. Original piece of trim, all the jack is there. Everything in here is as new. Again, it's as if you went back to 1979 and just plucked a brand new T-Bird off the lot. So this, this is a really special car, guys. I'm super excited about it. I don't know if you can tell, but I really am. Coming around this way to the, drop to the passenger side. Period correct. The original metal door strips, which I think are cool. Look under the doors. We don't do rusty cars. Uh, guys, if I ever see cars that have rust, I, I run from them. You know, surface corrosion is one thing, but any kind of rust, I don't play that. I don't mess with those cars. Dash is perfect, the seats are perfect on this side as well. So look at all the pictures, there'll be hundreds of pictures, multiple videos, and uh, I'll give you plenty of information so you can make a sound decision on what to bid on the car. But again, think about it, where do you find a car, especially this color, it's a very attractive color combination. So where do you find a 100% original car like this with 4,000 miles? So I was fortunate to, to have found it, and Hopefully you guys will appreciate that and, and feel fortunate to try to have a shot at buying it. Any questions, put them in the comment section. You're gonna see the car on YouTube first as usual, and it will be on Bringer Trailer up for auction, and hopefully the high bidder will get it. Thanks guys and good luck bidding.